Okay, check, 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 check. Mic one, two. We got the podcast set up real quick. This ain't even a podcast. I'm just saying, like, I'm so glad I invested in this before all this craziness happened, man. So I got your attention. Clickbait for the one time, man. Obviously, we're going under a huge situation here with the coronavirus. And, you know, people are losing jobs. Things are really scary. The stock market's dropping. Which, weird enough, I had the Robinhood app and... You know, I've been on this whole like debt paying journey and I pulled out, like I sold all my stocks and transferred it to my bank account so I could pay debt. Cause in reality, when you're in debt, you really shouldn't invest, right? I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just saying that's typically what it is. But I wanted to make this video because people are like clearly out here just drained and the media is just, it seems like day after day, you know, things are getting worse clearly, but there's just so much twisted news and it is so toxic and I just wanted to take this time to make sure you guys really curate what it is that you're looking at. Like I've honestly had to just get off social media because you know, when this was happening, when they were saying we were gonna go into quarantine, which you know, some states are kind of having that lockdown, I thought to myself, hey man, this is a good time to be a creator because now we can make videos and pump out content because people are gonna be at home, right? Plain and simple. Look at the weekend's album. It just dropped last night and it's already number one within hours. It's because people are at home bored right now. But besides the point, protect your mind, man. Protect your energy because I can even tell within my own comments, people are trying to drain my own energy. I'm making sneaker videos for entertainment purposes. I'm not telling you guys to buy anything. I'm telling you that there are deals out there if you have the money to you know, pull the trigger. And this is a serious subject. Like people are really losing their jobs. And I understand like this is a very, very stressful situation. Some people can't work. What do you do? But I also want to take this time to speak to you guys to let you know, like, yo, this is your opportunity to keep grinding. Like, what is it that you want to do? Now you can really sit back and think, yo, I want to start that business. I want to start that brand. I want to start that YouTube channel. There's so many outlets and it's not easy by any means. You know, it's always easy for someone to say, oh, well, you can do this. You know, a lot of people want to be YouTubers, but they don't realize the stress behind it, the expenses behind it, the editing, the hours, the ideas, the creativeness. There's a lot that goes into it. Here's your opportunity to really like buckle down and write out an outline. You got nothing but time, bro. Do it. And I'll be the first to admit, like I even fell off the wagon. Like I have been doing two a day workouts and, you know, our gym is locked down. You can't go to any gyms. You can still go run for a run outside. But I, I was like, uh, let me slack a little bit, you know, let me eat some potato chips. But. I'm like, yo, the time is gonna pass by either way. Either in two months from now, you're gonna be the same person that you are right now, or you're gonna read some books, you're gonna learn how to edit, you're gonna learn a new skill. There's tons of free information out there, guys. YouTube University, Google University, like anything you wanna learn is at your fingertips right now. You can get off this video and go figure out whatever it is that you wanna be good at. There's Skillshare. I personally use Skillshare. This isn't an ad or anything. I know a lot of people do ads, but I use Skillshare. It taught me how to use Lightroom, how to use Adobe Illustrator. And I'll, I'll even get some books right now, guys. Like I have some right here. Like I for real have, I don't know why I gotta come all the way over to the mic, but I have like a game of books. And honestly, I'm not even that dude that like reads like that, honestly. Like in college, I can't even tell you if I ever picked up a book, which I wish I did at the time. But you know, I feel like when you have to read, you don't. Knowledge is really everything, guys. So like, here's just a few recommendations of books. I even use Audible. I even try to put my homies on Audible. I think I still have. So I did like a sponsorship with Audible like a year or two ago. And I think they still give me like, I can give you guys a free audio book. I'll put the link down below, but I don't get paid or anything from it. I'm just saying, I believe they gave like a Sneaker Life channel some code or something. But uh, the majority of books I like to listen to because I'm typically doing something else. and like, I mean, like on a car ride, I like to listen to it, but you know, a lot of us just have time now. Just sit back in your chair and just put some headphones in and listen to the book. But as far as like books that I have, this one is The Four Agreements. This is a great book. Uh, just one of those kind of things that you already know, but just a guideline to bring you back to, wow, like life is really this simple. I will teach you to be rich. This is the second edition. This is an amazing book by Ramit. Uh, yeah, I'll put, I'll link all these down below fitness. You know, a lot of us are sitting at home. You might not have a gym. This book actually has tons of just at home workouts. Recently, I've just been going out like in a stairwell and jumping rope right now. I can't go outside cause we literally just had a blizzard. Um, 
coach by Michael Lewis. Like, the secret, I mean, like, you know, bring yourself back. The secret is more of, like, the universal, like, believe in the universe. Thoughts become things. I read that in high school. Some of these books are super old. Obama, OG, uh, Liar's Poker, again, by Michael Lewis. And, you know, my homie Mike actually gave me some of these books. The Tipping Point, another great book. Uh, <laughs> trading. Clearly, this is... Uh, situation right now the trading uh the most important thing uncommon these are investor books i mean these aren't really important right now but you know the market most likely will come back a millionaire success habits uh just guys just look into some books try to expand your knowledge just try to learn this is the opportunity to really do so but yeah man i just wanted to get on here and just tell you guys to really protect your mind even i'm not even gonna lie even i like fell victim to like the social media and all these media outlets are telling us fake news and you just don't know who to believe you know joe schmo tells steve over here and then steve changes up the story and tells jerry and then jerry comes to me and tells me some bull and it ain't even the original story it's like that one game where you whisper in someone's ear and they just keep changing the story and then first you're like socks you start with socks and then by the end of it someone's like boo boo and you're like bro i said socks not boo boo what you talking about terrible example but you get what i'm saying i know a lot of you guys are younger i know some of you are my age some of you are older but like just protect your mind if you need to know anything about the coronavirus go to the cdc website the facts are there just don't fall into this trap man they're really trying to make us paranoid and this is a very serious situation definitely stay home try to avoid contact if you can i know some of y'all gotta go to work hey go to work do your thing but the cdc will tell you the precautionary steps to handle your business. Right now isn't a time for us to hate on each other or try to drain someone else's energy. Right now is a time to just try to uplift everyone, man. If you got anything positive to say, drop it down below in the comments. I want you guys to come to these videos to just kind of like forget. Cause I feel like as soon as you turn the news on or the TV or go on Twitter, boom, coronavirus, everyone's dying, your life sucks, everyone's losing their job, you ain't gonna get anywhere in life. But it's like, why? Media is literally trying to destroy us. And when you're in your house by yourself, even with your family, maybe you're in the other room, like you can easily mentally beat yourself up. <sighs> Been taking a lot of deep breaths, man, definitely. I'm about to start stretching, bro. I need to get more flexible, random. That's another thing I'm gonna do. But again, guys, just maybe here, I'll put out a list. These are the things that I wanna get better at. I wanna get better at Adobe Illustrator. I want to stretch every single day. I'm about to find a routine on YouTube. You can YouTube anything. Uh, I want to jump rope every single day, just burn some calories, hopefully get back to eating just good meals because I have plenty of food. And honestly, I just want to commit to YouTube again. You know, I've been very inconsistent. So I just want to make videos and enjoy them. And hopefully you guys enjoy them too. And that's pretty much it. You know, like I have some very simple goals that I want to set for myself right now. I mean, there's going to be more down the line. But for right now, just think of some things that you want to do. <sighs> Take a deep breath and let's get this. We'll be fine, man you'll be fine but that's all i have on my spirit today man y'all be easy again just drop some positivity down below maybe leave some things that you're doing at home what are you doing while you're bored what do you want to learn really whatever you want to leave but this is your boy sneaker life i'll catch you guys soon because you know i'm out here, like committing to youtube you dig <laughs> i'll catch y'all run it S -S -E